Jesus said, Come, we'll go to another part of hell. I saw a vision as Jesus spoke. And in the vision, I saw an old farmhouse that looked dead gray with dead trees and high dead grass surrounding it. Grass was very high, even higher than the house. All was grayish black. It was out in the center of a field. No other buildings were around and death was everywhere. You could feel fear and death magnified over and over. It seemed to be echoing in the air. I could see inside the windows of this house there was a shape of a large person inside, dark, and his appearance was very evil. He was moving and coming out the front door. It was the form of a man with very large muscles, and he came out the front door into the porch. I saw him clearly. He was about six feet tall and built like a weightlifter. He was dead gray in color. He had hard scales on his body like a serpent. His head was very, very large, and his legs bowed because of the weight of his head. His feet were hoofed. They looked like pig's feet. His face was very evil-looking and very old. He had eyes that seemed to have no life or soul. His face was very broad, and I knew that this must be the devil. In the vision, I saw him walk off the old porch, and he shook the earth. At the top of his head were large horns. They went up out of sight. They seemed to grow as I watched him. Jesus said, Watch. I saw the horns begin to get bigger and bigger, and they came into homes, churches, hospitals, and many other buildings. They were invisible to the natural eye, but through the Spirit of God they can be seen. I saw these type of horns going into businesses, offices, jail cells all over the world. I saw them moving, destroying, killing, causing people to lie, cheat, and steal. I saw many people fall into Satan's tricks. I saw the horns spew out demons and workers of darkness upon the earth. Dark clouds came out of them in evil forms and serpents of all kind and shapes and sizes was hitting the earth. Jesus said, Because of these things, men will become lovers of their own self instead of God. Jesus said, If you love your home, your car, your land, your buildings, your business, silver and gold more than me, you should repent and turn back unto me. Jesus said, For I am a jealous God, and you must love me with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. You must forsake the lust of the flesh and follow me. I saw the horns move over the face of the earth high into the heavens. And I saw new kingdoms arise, and I saw divisions and destructions of many things. I saw men and women worshiping the beast as he walked back and forth upon the earth. Suddenly I realized I was in the midst of a great tribulation. I was praying with all my heart, O oh Lord, help us. And then I began to see two large spiritual beasts begin to rise out of the earth in war against each other. I saw many people stand and watch this war. For this was a vision God was showing me about the end times. I saw great objects come in between them as they were fighting and stood on each side of the large beast. I saw as they began to try to destroy one another. And one seemed to take on more power than the other one. And the people began to worship the beast in his image. I felt lost and undone as I watched this. There seemed to be a paralyzing force come out of this type of dis. And there was seemed to be nowhere to run. I don't understand it, but I felt trapped, even in the spirit. At once Jesus lifted me up higher until I was looking down into the vision. And there seemed to be a type of escalator going down into the earth. And the two beasts were on each side as they began to change. I watched my brothers and sisters as these horrifying forms seemed to take on souls out of the earth. This was an end-time vision. And the Spirit of the Lord had said to me to tell it unto the churches. Seducing spirits have entered the lands, and doctrines of devils have entered into the churches. These evil beast powers have seduced the people into following them. This is what the Lord was showing me about end time visions. He said unto the people, Do not do unholy things in your marriage bed. Unholy acts between married couples are being done. Wrong teaching seducing spirits have entered into the churches 
some from the world and some from the churches, they are wrong. Do not defile the body, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Repent, O people, repent. Behold, O earth, I am the first and the last. Serve me, the creator of the universe. I give life and not death. Arise from evil. Call upon me and I will heal and deliver you. The things told to you will come to pass. My children have cried out from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Repent, for the Lord is coming. Be ready. Great shall be the reward of those who keep my word and my commandments. Behold, I say if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sins and restore. I desire to save, to heal, to deliver all that believe and call upon me. Sanctify a face, call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God. Call upon the Lord, for the day of the Lord cometh, it is at hand. I will restore unto you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm. My great army which I send among you will not break its ranks. They will do exploits. They shall not be beaten, for I will give them strength. They will shout like a trumpet, and they will call upon me, and I will hear them. Call upon me, you ministers of the Lord, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. He is slow to anger and of great kindness, and he repenteth of evil. Call a fast, a solemn assembly, a true fast, a sincere fast that I will hear and I will heal. There were other parts of this vision in hell. We came back to the belly of hell again and began to walk towards a small opening. Jesus said, This is a part of the center of hell. Jesus said, Be not deceived, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the Spirit of the Lord shall reap life everlasting. But he that soweth to his own flesh shall reap corrupt. We came to a cell on this place in hell which had a beautiful woman in it. I don't know why she had flesh, but she did. The top of her cell said, B.C. I heard the woman say, Oh, Lord, I knew you would come back someday. Let me out of this place of torment. Her clothes were of an early age. Let me out, she cried. Let me out. I have been here for centuries, and I cannot die. Do you hear that, people? I cried, Oh, my God, how horrible to be in hell forever. Again she cried out to Jesus, Have mercy on my soul. Softly Jesus said, Peace, be still. In sorrow I listened as he spoke to her. O oh, woman, you know why you are here. Yes, she said, but I will change now, Jesus. I remember when you let all of those out of paradise. I heard your words of salvation. I will be good now, she cried. I will serve you. She clenched the bars of the cell. Horror was all over her. Please, oh, please let me out. Many of my people for many generations have come here. She began to change right before my eyes. Oh, my God, I watched in horror. Her clothes changed, and she began to burn in fire. How horrible to behold the burning of this soul. Dear Lord, I cried out, what is this? I felt so sad inside. Jesus said, all servants of Satan will go to hell unless they repent and stop their sinning. There is no end to her torment. Their smoke will ascend up forever, Jesus said unto the woman. You knew on earth your end. Moses gave you the laws of righteousness, but you would not repent nor listen. You were an instrument in the hands of Satan, a soothsayer, a witch. You taught many the arts of witchcraft. You loved darkness more than light. Your deeds were evil. Sin reaps sin and death. You did much harm to the saints of God. You would not repent of your evils. Many came to you to get you to serve the Lord God, but you would not hear, nor did you care. Jesus said, It is written, The just shall live by faith. If you had repented, God would have forgiven you. He knows all things. Too late, too late, the judgment has been set. With much pity of heart, we walked away. There was no end to the pain and suffering. Her hands reached out to us as we walked away. 